Hello, this is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this is the 2016 MFJ catalog that I got when I went to HamFest a couple weeks ago. Um, one of the main reasons I was trying to get to the HamFest, even though I was sick, is I was going to meet Richard, who's who works at MFJ, and he was going to have me some products to review on my show. Richard and MFJ have supported my channel for quite a number of years and have always come through when I ask them for some new products to review. Um, so uh, th today I'm going to just show you some of the things that I've gotten in. What took place is I went to the ham fest and unfortunately the stuff that was supposed to be for me did not get in the truck that was went to the ham fest. So Richard didn't have anything for me, but he said that he would um, send me the stuff in the mail. And uh, he has. I got it this weekend. I got a box of three items. They're not exactly the th same three items that we uh, agreed upon that I would review, mainly because they had a pretty good ham fest and sold out a lot of the uh, exciting things that um, I had hoped to review. But he sent me... Uh, one of them that I wanted and some two other two other things. And then he's going to, uh, as soon as he gets some more in, send me the other products. So I actually end up with more products than I had uh, asked for. So I'm going to show you today what I'm going to, what I've received and what I'm going to review in the next few weeks. Okay. First, I want to show you a picture of Richard. This guy is a really super guy. He's been working at MFJ for a long time. Here is a picture. Now, this is an old picture. It was, it was in the catalog uh, many, many years ago. And I guess he had a kind of a scraggly beard when they took the picture. So they did a little touch-up here and gave him a beard. It's pretty obvious it's a touch-up picture. I'm always kidding about that. And uh, a couple weeks ago, when I went to the ham fest, he looked like this picture. He has the full beard now. Here's another picture of him. He's a really nice guy. His name's Richard. So anyway, <clears throat> let's go back. And I'm going to show you uh, in the catalog what I got. In the mail yesterday. And um, I don't know how well this is going to show up. Quite a bit of reflection there. The first item is the Tiny Tuner with cross needle, SWR, and watt meter, and it includes a 4 to 1 balance. This, um, this is mainly used by amateur radio operators to go in between their transmitter and their antenna to tune the antenna so that it looks like it's a proper impedance. It also will give you the um, SWR reading when you transmit and the wattage that you're putting out. So I've got that to review. The next item. Now this one was on my list and I was excited that he has sent it to me. This is an, another antenna analyzer called the Antenna Expert. And it's used to look at your antenna and determine uh, the characteristics of the antenna. For instance, SWR, which is standing wave ratio, which you want as low as possible. Uh, ideally, it's a 1.1 it's a reading. And it has this graphical display. It does many other functions. It has memory that when you do a test, the graph that is displayed can be stored in this device <coughs> excuse me or it this device can be hooked up to a PC via a USB port and you can transfer that data over to a B, over to the PC it's in a CVS comma separated variable file which it can be read by Excel. And then you can plot the data on your computer and 
to manipulate the um, scales and everything. It, uh, it will do a single frequency mode. It'll do a sweep plot, and you set the start frequency and the stop frequency. Also, it works from, this one, works from 1 megahertz to 230 megahertz. So it will get up into the VHF band also. Now, the one I reviewed uh, about a year ago, it was only good from 1 megahertz to 30 megahertz, so it's only good for HF. And then here's, uh, here's some plots you can get. Here, here is a Smith chart plot, uh, in, an impedance plot, a reactance plot, a return loss plot, a phase plot. A lot of these, I don't even know what they are. But this is, this is pretty versatile. Again, I have that, and as a matter of fact, I have, I've unboxed that, and I have it right here. Here is the device itself. It's a handheld device, runs off of uh, two AA batteries, so it's very portable. Here's the connection right here, and I'll be reviewing that in the near future. So that's that item. And the last of the three items that he sent me, And this this is one that I uh, that I asked for. Ooh, let me don't let me let me get this uh, stand by one second. I've got, I've got both the ones that he uh, he sent me marked, and the ones that he will be sending me. And I'm reaching down here to get the box to get the model number. Yes. Okay. This one over here is one that he sent me and this is one that uh, I requested down here in the fold of the catalog here come on camera focus here okay this is an alpha MFJ receiver antenna tuner and preamplifier so this is something that shortwave listeners can use to tune their antennas and uh, it also has a preamplifier in it. So that's going to be interesting. That one's pretty exciting too. Um, another one, and let me check again to see if... I think this is one that he's going to send me. Yes. This is one that he is going to send me. And this is a pre-selector. Again, something that will be useful to the shortwave listeners and for the ham operators too. It's a pre-selector to pre-select the signal that's coming from your antenna before it gets to your, to your receiver. It's kind of like a filter. So this will be interesting to review. I don't have that one yet. And I think that covers it. Oh, no! There's one more really exciting thing that um, I had hoped to pick this up at the hand fest because it's going it's to be kind of expensive to ship to me, I think. <clears throat> and this is an A. Wait a minute. I'm on the wrong page. There. This is. A 80 to 6 meter vertical vertical antenna. And this thing, it's telescopic and it extends 31 feet. 31 feet. So it's feather light. And a good again, this will be a good antenna for both receiving and transmitting. And this will take me a while to get set up and use uh, and test but I think it's going to be something that I can do myself because it is a telescopic antenna we shall see so those are the things that are either I've gotten or that are coming in uh, the near future for me to review again I want to thank MFJ for their support in uh, providing these things for me to review on my show um, and like I say, the next thing, the first thing I'll review 
is this little guy here is antenna analyzer the model number is mfj-226 so if you want to do a little homework and read up on it that'd be great anyway if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up thanks for watching and uh, we'll be reviewing these products in the near future bye bye